Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. I got another update for you guys today. I hope everybody's doing well and happy out there and uh, not too concerned with uh, what the news is telling us, but I'm not going to get into that. This channel is about gardening and building stuff. So uh, today's update is, uh, uh, you can thank my friend Beaker for this because he reminded me that I even had these uh, spray bars for my fish tanks. So when the fish tanks were in the backyard, I built a couple of spray bars to help uh, maybe cool the water down. I don't know if it was working or not. But now that I have moved the fish tanks, I think they'll serve another purpose as I can use them to rotate the water. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I've got this bar going across. Here's my inlet pipe. And you can't see them, but if we take the camera and go down here, you can see the there's a hole uh, every four inches. And then same thing on this side here. Every four inches. And the way I made these is uh, it's just uh, half inch, half inch or three quarter, let's see. Yeah, half inch PVC pipe. And I didn't glue any of this stuff together. I just used some Teflon tape. Some of this stuff right here. I got the glue out because at first I was going to, but then I decided against it because I don't want to harm the fish with the chemicals that are in the glue. And uh, the way these are built is I can grab this side with one hand and then I can rotate this side if I want to, if I want to change the angle of the water flow. Same thing on this one. And if you're wondering what all, the, uh, what all these are, these are sprouts. The sprouts I grew inside and I thought I would try and throw some in with the fish. And when I threw them in there originally, they went nuts and they ate a whole bunch of them. So I think they like them. Anyways, we'll get back to this, the content of this video. So here's my other spray bar and this one, it's the same thing. Half inch PVC, not glued together, I use Teflon tape. And then that way I can adjust these. Um, we'll, uh, we'll switch the power on so you can see what they look like in action. Use the wide angle lens there. You hear the water bubbling up. Any second now, and there we go. And if we do a view from above, you can see how this water is squirting in that way, and that water is coming in that direction. So it can create like a counterclockwise kind of swirl. At least that's what the plan is. Here's one of my old ones. This was actually a piece of uh, a greenhouse I built a couple years ago out of PVC. I ended up tearing it down. It wasn't a, wasn't very good. I didn't know what I was doing, but the PVC all bent like this. And when I took it apart, I was able to reuse it, but it's it stayed curved. So this was one of my first experimental spray bars. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. I put too many holes in it. They weren't angled correctly, so it didn't really do anything uh, like I wanted it to. Unlike this, where I've half a quarter of as many holes, and they're bigger too. I'm not sure, I don't remember what uh, size drill bit I used on this guy, but it seems to be working. It also aerates the water a little bit, which I am not worried about. Um, the, air, the air pumps and the air stones do plenty of that for me. And I'm hoping that the agitation in this tank works a little bit better because I can see that dark spot down there. That's uh, a bunch of fish poop that's collected there. So hopefully we can get that stuff cleaned up and out of here just by motion of the water, moving it counterclockwise like that. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. And obviously in this tank, it's fairly clean at the bottom. Got a bunch of happy fish in there. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can get them to heat. They might be full from eating all the sprouts that I put in there. There's my reverse osmosis and deionizer. I just plugged that into the garden hose down there. And that's what I use to filter the water for these fish tanks and for the whole system. And then I also use this to filter my drinking water. 
Anyways, we'll get some fish food in here and see if they'll eat it. Get a wide angle lens, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Yep, there they come. Fish all look very healthy and very happy. I don't see any fin rot. I did lose two fish to fin rot. They had it really, really bad. I actually didn't even see them, so I wasn't able to get them out before they were too sick. But the rest of them are looking all right. And then over here, I just have a, a Placostomus, which is hiding right here. You can see his tail. Let's see. He's actually been sitting there a couple days. Yep, he's alive. I'm not going to disturb you. And right, we'll check the water temperature while we're over here. And we're at, oh, about 88 degrees, about 34 degrees Celsius, depending on where you are in the world. So we got 88 degrees Fahrenheit and 34 degrees Celsius. And it is 107 today, I believe. And uh, I've got about 120 seedlings inside getting ready to, uh, here in a few weeks, I'll be throwing those puppies out there in, in the grow beds. I already went through and uh, treated the beds with uh, diatomaceous earth, food safe diatomaceous earth. Um, it has to be food safe. I can't use anything toxic in here as it'll harm the fish and the bacteria that live in here. Oh, why is it wet? That's weird. It must not be flooding and draining crap quickly we can fix that a little adjustment of the valve we still got this one really big basil plant over here uh, but the diatomaceous earth I put in here and it takes care of pretty much all the pesky insects the the ants the aphids anything like that they get in that stuff and it tears them up pretty good I guess we'll walk over here and check out uh, check out the crack key table I actually haven't been over here in a couple days. Well, that's not looking good. It could be just because it's in the sun right now. Let's look at the water level. The water level's fine. It hasn't rained, so it's not drowning. And then I also have about 80 radishes inside that are going to go in here too. I'll remove all this stuff. Because that's just covering up the holes to keep the mosquitoes out. And then we've got our corn. It's not looking great, so well, it's already look. It's, it's about a foot tall, and it's already growing. Uh, oh shoot! I forget the name of those. So that's just like a weird science experiment. We'll see what happens with that. But anyways, what I wanted to show you guys was the, the watering bars, and that is that. So, uh, oh, and this food, the fish feeder, automatic fish feeder works really good. Um, if I come out here and I don't feed the fish manually and I come out here, I'll find them all swimming around right here <laughs> waiting to get fed. So that thing works really good so far. And, uh, I guess I didn't have anything else for you guys today. Um, today is my day off, so. I'm just relaxing at home, doing the thing, uh, getting some ideas uh, and getting motivated. I want to try to build something else, but I'm not sure yet uh, if I'm going to go ahead with that. I want to build a really, really large aquaponics floating raft system um, right here in this area, maybe 20 feet long, 20 feet by, shoot, 20 foot by four foot, I'm thinking. But we'll see about that. We've got other things I need to worry about first, but that'll be another video for another day. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell next to the subscribe icon if you want a notification the next time I upload a video so you can follow along with uh, my projects if you're interested. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, as always, keep building.